guys. Simon again. Sorry, <laughs> number seven. Solomon's Tales. Solomon's in his hotel room. It's, oh, I don't know, about six in the evening. He's having a nap now. Girl had knocked on the door earlier with a towel and put a phone number on top of the little bit of paper on top with the word and numbers underneath 2000. Anyway, he hasn't sleep for a couple of hours. Come about eight, he thinks, oh, a bit of a waste of a day. I haven't done much, but apart from traveling, he's come down from Bangkok to Hua Hin. He's checked into this Jed Penong hotel. He's had a foot massage, had a wonder. Anyway, a bit of paper, girl, works in the hotel, a little blonde, streaky hair, lovely little girl. Phone number and 2000. He thinks that's too expensive for a, a girl outside Bangkok. I'm not paying that. So, throw some clothes on. It does say it's about eight o'clock. Comes out the door, locks the door, walks past the breakfast area, no one there. Comes around the corner, and there's the little girl sat on the right on a seat with blonde, streaky hair. Um, looking at him, and it, it's actually 20 past eight, and she's pointing at her watch and waving her finger at him. And he thinks, what, 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 what's she on about? And then she keeps saying to him, Pacmon, Pacmon, which is means eight o'clock, and pointing at her watch. And he's like, and then he thinks, oh, hang on, that number on the phone number underneath was 2000. Maybe that was 2000. Oh, maybe that was a date. What? She works in a hotel. She's coming on to me. What's happening here? This is uh, different. Anyway, she jumps up, grabs his arm. <laughs> and starts marching him out the door. He throws his keys on the desk as they walk past the reception. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just go with the flow. I don't know what's happening. Down the steps at the front, and she starts talking. It's a little bit of English, but food. And heading straight down that road opposite again. And halfway down there on the left, into a little cafe restaurant. She sort of pulls him in have a little table there's only about four tables in that little cafe and uh, gives him a menu and starts ordering some food and he thinks oh, that's very strange I've never been picked up by a hotel girl before in Thailand and what's happening okay definitely go with the flow this could be interesting and he looks at the menu mm, Thai food orders some she orders some he hasn't got a foggiest what her name is or anything so doesn't bother asking, he just goes with the flow. Anyway, just keep, just keep smiling at him and eating and smiling and, and sort of making funny noises, sort of. <laughs> he eats his food, she eats her food. Then uh, Bill comes over and she pushes it to him. The bin, here you go. That's only about 120 baht each, so pays the bin. And then he thinks, well, what's gonna happen now? Go to a bar for a drink, or is she going to go take me home to meet the parents? Stands up, grabs his arm again, heads back to the hotel. And he thinks, What? She just wanted me to buy her food? What's that all about? Anyway, this hotel's literally only 50 meters away. Walks in the hotel. The day staff aren't there, there's a security guard who's running, keeping an eye on the rooms and the front and back entrances handing out the keys for the rooms. She squawks at him something, it was the room number probably, and uh, which was actually 1003. Yeah, pan sam, yeah, pan, yeah, 1003. And he grabs the key and gives it to her, and she drags Solomon straight off to the room, to his room. In the door, she locks the door behind, she pulls the curtains, it's got the floor to ceiling curtains all the way along this glass front. Pulls the curtains, turns around and jumps on him and family friendly. He had a very interesting whole night with a complete strange young lady. Uh, very good evening.
and he never got back out of the hotel that evening for a beer. No, he didn't get out. All night she stayed and taught him all the usual aerobics and stuff. Morning, banging on the door. Someone's banging on the door. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Solomon wakes up to this sort of startle what that is. And he looks on his right and the girl's still here, fast asleep. He can't even hear the banging on the door. He gets up, no clothes on, walks over the door, pulls the curtain back, undoes the, the, the lock. You can see through the glass door, it's that other girl who works in the breakfast bar, the one with the long black hair. Looks a bit sort of loud, Cambodian. He's stark naked, stood there. He's not even realised. And he's opened the door and she sort of, you know, squeals at him, says something in Thai, and then he realises he's like, oh, covers himself up a bit. And she pushes some clothes at him. He's thinking, oh my God, first time I get a towel thrown at me, and then this girl, now you're giving me clothes. What, are you coming tonight? <laughs> and she starts shouting at the girl that's in the bed. Of course, she works in the hotel. This is her colleague telling her, get up, here's your clothes, you're due at work now. She's screaming at this girl next to him, and the girl wakes up and like, oh, oh God. Anyway, the girl, long hair, turns around and walks off, so Solomon locks the door, closes the curtains, puts the clothes on the end of the bed, and this little girl gets up, runs off to the shower, comes out of the shower, all dressed for work. Again, just laughs at him. Bang, off she's gone. She didn't ask him for any money, nothing. Gone. He thinks, oh, I'm gonna have to get back to bed for a bit. And he goes back to bed for an hour. Oh, fantastic, girl in the hotel. Great night. Wow, welcome to Hua Hin. <laughs> and this day is probably gonna be the best day he's ever had in Thailand doesn't know what's ahead of him but it's gonna be a great day gets up out the door across to breakfast and that's where the girl she's there the other girl they're all giggling and laughing anyway he sits down orders his breakfast they, keep, they don't really say anything to him just giggle and laugh at him and bring his breakfast eats the breakfast and he thinks I'm gonna have a swim back into his room, throws his shorts on, comes out, dives in the pool, has a swim for a bit of exercise. <laughs> he didn't need it, but he has that more exercise. Has a swim, beautiful. And then the little girl comes across, drink, drink, beer. Okay, Heineken. Off they go, scuttles off, come back, Heineken. He's in the pool and she's giving him a Heineken. And he's thinking, oh, this is paradise. Leaning against the side, drinking a Heineken, early in the morning, had his breakfast. Two beautiful women there, no one else around, there's no other guests in the hotel, it seems quiet. Oh, what a start to the day. Brilliant. Anyway, finish the drink. Gives them some money for the Heineken, breakfast is free. Back in the room, gets changed, throws the shorts on, shirt. Round to the safe, gets a bit of money out, so puts about, I don't know, Again, 5,000 back in his pocket, puts everything else in the safe. Off he goes, he thinks, I'm just gonna have a wander. The girl hasn't asked him for any money, so. He thinks, right. And he does the same walk again, down to the beach. Gets halfway along the beach and stops there. There's uh, hardly anyone on the deck chair, so he picks on the, one of the front deck chairs by the water, sits down, gets a Coke, and he chills for a while, it's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Up he gets, carries on the same walk before, up the steps and around the sort of Chinese temple bit. Comes around the corner and there's that massage place there again. And the girls recognise him and they're all shouting. He thinks, all right, this would be a great time to have an oil massage. A full body, body massage. Totally relaxation, brilliant. So he goes through the door. There's about five or six girls and they're sort of, telling him to pick a girl 
and um, oh, he thinks there's a, a larger lady there but didn't really want her climbing on his back giving him oil massages now there's a little really thin girl with no power no muscles so he picks this sort of girl with I don't know, maybe she's about 40 years old but she looks like she's strong that'd be a good massage and he points to her and uh, she grabs his hand very gently and he got this wooden staircase and there's a wooden floor upstairs and it's there's about five or six sort of mats on the floor with pillows and those dentist curtains around again all the way around each one and in the far corner is a shower toilet so she takes him to the fur there's no customers there again he goes to the m1 pulls the curtain around takes his clothes off keeps his boxer shorts on lies down starts massaging his back great massage really strong girl very strong she flips him over and being a guy when a, a massage is massaging you in certain areas or a bit close it, it can give you a little bit of a reaction and Solomon got a bit of a reaction and then the girl sort of basically gave him some options there and he was really wasn't really understanding and he was like really whatever yeah next thing you know it turned into horizontal aerobics in a massage shop upstairs and this girl was a fantastic masseur fabulous yeah excellent masseur um and the price i think was 300 baht for the massage the girl was saying something about 500 anyway it wasn't long the massage there and soon finished and she broke it down give me 500 baht and 300 baht downstairs for the massage so work it out he got up, put him in the shower she went in showered him beautiful fabulous start to the day i mean he's like wow wow totally relaxed incredible comes down the stairs and all the girls are giggling they know what's been going on he's sort of a bit embarrassed because it's supposed to be just a normal massage walks out the door turns left so now he's heading down there's a few bars down there he literally gets 20 meters and on the right is this big bar I, uh, whether it's orange or pink or something big concrete front with the doors then there's a big tiled area with tables and again as like a balustrade rail along the front loads of girls sat there leaning over on this bit of a tabletop along the bar and they're all making remarks to him what's that it's a bar it's called lolitas well, what's lolitas all about it's all enclosed and these girls are all yeah <laughs> he thinks oh maybe i'll get a beer there so he steps up and the girls all pull him along where it's sat at the front they sit him at the front next to them they're all huddled up to him beer yeah, 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 yeah. heineken no no okay chang one girl runs off comes out chang sits him down and they're all just giggling and laughing and the girls over at the massage shop and jibing him and you know, they're sort of having a bit of a shout across it's what's going on a bit weird i want to get inside and look what's inside man comes out the doors little girl a guy dark hair australian i think he's called russ or ross that's his real name and he comes across and starts talking to solomon and he solomon still doesn't know what's inside what's this all about and ross mentioned to him do you like uh, snooker pool yeah, oh yeah solomon fancies himself he said ah i've got a competition inside come and have a look I've got a challenge for you okay yeah yeah i got a challenge for you and he's thinking hmm we'll have a go at this whatever it is and off they go walk in the doors the girls all stay at the front ross takes him through the doors <laughs> sorry guys 
15 minutes. I'm keeping them to 15 minutes. This originally was only going to be one or two part story. Ah, oh, dear, dear. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.